Hey guys, what is up? And I hope you guys are all doing well. I just want to start this video by wishing each and every single one of you guys a happy new year. Welcome back to the channel guys. For those of you that are new, my name is Ryan and I'm a content creator from London. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your iOS 15 device look more aesthetically pleasing. And so that you can go ahead and get more likes on Instagram and TikTok. Aesthetic iOS 15 homepage. Talking to them. And just before we get into this video, just make sure that you are on the latest iOS software. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll just show you guys real quick how that's done. So basically all you have to do is just open up settings and go on general, hit software update, and pretty much that should tell you if your device needs to be updated or not. My one's on iOS 15.2, so it's definitely up to date. So the first thing we're going to do is organize our pages and the way I like to do it is to make sure that I have all the apps that have a similar purpose grouped together. So for example, all my social media apps are going to be all on one page. So my Snap, so Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram will all be grouped together. And as you can pretty much see, my phone's all over the place. Like the pages are just filled with apps and it's all over the place. So what I'm pretty much going to do is I'm going to be deleting the apps that I don't use. And there's also some apps that are just there that are rarely used, but I still need them. So the way forward with that is instead of deleting them, you can always hit. So you just basically click on the app, just hold the app for a few seconds. And then so once that comes up, you just hit remove app. And instead of deleting it, you can just remove it from your home screen. And that will pretty much reduce the amount of clutter. And don't worry, you haven't deleted it. You can find it on your app library. Once all your apps are organized, we're gonna start making some progress towards changing the generic Apple interface. And as you can tell from the title of the video, I'm going for a minimal look that is going to be composed of two colors and they are going to be black and white. One particular website that I really enjoy checking out is called Unsplash. They've got some really high quality wallpapers there and they have a wide range of wallpapers to choose from. So even if you're not going for my theme in particular, I'm sure there's something there for you. All right, so let's just open up the website. It's unsplashed. All right, so just open that up. So I'm just going to type in black and see what comes up. They look pretty cool, pretty cool. Actually, yep. Yeah. All right, that looks pretty cool. All right, so I'm just gonna download this right here and shout out to the creator, Josh Rose. Now that it's downloaded, let's just go ahead and set it as our wallpaper. I'm gonna set it as my wallpaper for both the home screen and lock screen. I'm just gonna adjust it just so that it sits in the middle. All right, so now that's done, we are going to move on to the next part, which is we are gonna start changing the app covers. All right, so the app covers that have already, that have already been made are pretty much black and white. So they look exactly like this. So I've got them saved over on my phone. And also, if you guys wanna use these app covers, I'll leave a download link where you guys can just get the pack for free. Just download it and, and just pretty much follow the steps I'm doing. We're just going to move on to the next part. So just make sure that you have the shortcuts app downloaded. All right. So what we're going to do is hit the plus button on the top right. We select an action. So the one I'm going to pick is the open app. Now that that's open. So I'll just click on app. I'll just select the app that I want to open. And that's going to be TikTok. And by the way, guys, be sure to follow me on TikTok. I've got some cool content on there. So I'm sure you enjoy it. Anyways, back to this. So just type TikTok on top and then you go add to home screen and then from there you pretty much rewrite the name of the app again once that's there you just choose a picture from the files and I've already got them there so I'm just gonna select TikTok and that's how it looks and I just pretty much hit add and that's all you've pretty much got to do I'm just gonna show you guys one more time All right, let's, as you can see, it's pretty much shaping up to be pretty cool. So let's go again. So, right, so we're gonna go again. So we're gonna do a different app now. So same as before, hit the plus and then open up and then we're gonna select Notion this time. 
definitely one of my favorite apps by the way so notion and then we type notion on top there and then so we're gonna hit the three settings on the top right so and then we hit add to home screen and then we choose the file the cover and then we hit notion and then we obviously rename it and just write notion and then we just add it and it's on our home screen so i'm just going to move that and put it next to the other apps just so that it's all there and you pretty much just do the same thing for all the other apps that you have but for the purpose of this video it will take ages for me to go through all my apps so i'm just going to speed this up for you guys and i'll show you guys the final finish Once we've transformed our homepage, we are going to move on and add some really cool widgets. Well, the first thing you're going to have to do is download the widgets app. You'll pretty much just find that on the app store. So it's called Widget Smith. So once you guys have the app opened, what you're going to do is. So basically, just before we start, you see all these widgets here. I've already made them. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to make one. All right. So let's say I want to go for a large one. They're already made so, so let's say i want to add a large widget so i'm going to go here i'm going to select photo i'm going to hit select and i'm going to select the photo i want to add the one i'm going to add is obviously my dream car by the way guys i have a huge passion for cars it's insane and this g-wagon right here dream car but one day <laughs> this car right here so i'm going to hit this one so i'm going to go back I'm going to make sure that you save it as well and you can also rename it. So let's say G-Wagon, let's get that saved. You can just pretty much just tap anywhere on the home screen. Once that's there, you just hit the top left corner of your phone and that's the plus button. And what you're going to do is go down and then just look for Widget Smith. Just type that there, open that up and the one we're going for is the large widget. So we're going to add that widget there and you're pretty much done that's all you got to do and i think that looks really clean it just adds a different vibe to the um it just adds a completely different vibe to the um home screen and it looks amazing i really love it i hope you guys are enjoying this as well you can pretty much just play with the widgets app and add a lot of different things and for me personally i'm, I'm just trying to keep it less cluttered so i'm just going to add the ones that i need all right, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the final finish and let me know what you guys think. All right, and we have come to the end of this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a like and share it around with friends. If you do have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll definitely be answering any questions that you guys may have. And once again, I've also left the app cover download pack in the description below. So you find the link, just click on that and have it downloaded and just follow the steps are pretty much used. If you do end up creating your own theme, I'd love to check them out. So be sure to tag me on Instagram and I'll definitely repost it on my story. And until then, I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next video. Take care.